we've seen how to find the first and second derivative with respect to x and y, what exactly is it that we're finding? And to start with that, let's consider this graph here. I'm going to start by finding the trace at y equal to 2. What that means is I'm going to set y equal to 2 and trace out the curve of this function. And then we can see that this is just a graph in two dimensions. So when we talk about taking the partial derivative with respect to x, what we're talking about doing is looking at the slope of this particular curve. We have a given y value and we want to see what the slope of the tangent line to this curve is. If we try to find the second derivative with respect to x, then we would be looking at the concavity of this curve. When we talk about taking the partial derivative fxy, the derivative with respect to x, and then the derivative with respect to y, we can think about this curve as a table. And we can put a pencil on it. And this derivative, this second order partial derivative, mixed partial derivative, would be like tracing out what's happening to a pencil that is rolling across this table. Next, let's consider x equal to 1. So I want to trace out the curve. We know x is equal to 1, and we're going to trace out what happens on this graph. The partial derivative with respect to y, or f sub y, would now be the slope of the tangent line to this new curve. The second partial derivative fyy, the second derivative with respect to y, would be the concavity of this curve. And the mixed partial derivative fyx would once again be like looking at a pencil rolling along a table defined by this curve and surface. If you would like to see Professor Pierce make more videos like this one, you can support her on Patreon in the link below. Any and all support means a lot to her. It allows her not only to make more videos, but it also allows her to campaign for free and accessible online education to conferences and other universities. Thank you for watching, and remember, math is for everyone.